Hello, I'm Mr. David Chong, consultant colorectal and general surgeon here at Ross Hall Hospital in Glasgow. Today I'll be talking about common conditions that affect your digestive system and how the symptoms of these conditions can often overlap. As a colorectal and general surgeon, I specialize in diagnosing and treating some of these conditions, helping people manage their symptoms and get back to everyday life. One of the conditions seen here at Ross Hall Hospital is irritable bowel syndrome, more commonly known as IBS. An estimated 13 million people in the UK suffer with IBS, but it's not the only condition that can cause significant abdominal symptoms. Symptoms of IBS can be very similar to some other gastrointestinal problems, such as diverticular disease, Crohn's disease, colitis, and cancer which can make IBS challenging to diagnose. In this video, I'll share key expert information about these four conditions that may be mistaken for IBS. First things first, what are the key symptoms that indicate a gastrointestinal condition? Many gastrointestinal conditions share similar symptoms, including abdominal pain, bloating, constipation, and diarrhea. Many people with digestive problems don't have normal toilet habits and will either have constipation or diarrhea, which can often be worsened by certain foods or even physical or mental stress. Food triggers are more specific to the individual. However, many people are affected by bread, spicy food, caffeine or processed food. You might suspect that you have IBS if you have any of these symptoms especially if they are triggered by certain foods. However, it's important to consider other more concerning causes of bowel symptoms. It's also important to note that many people with a digestive condition experience their symptoms in flare-ups, meaning they will have long asymptomatic periods known as remission, followed by periods of intense symptoms. These flare-ups often have triggers and it's helpful to get to know these triggers and work around them. Let's begin with diverticular disease. Diverticular disease and diverticulitis are conditions that affect the bowel, causing abdominal pain, constipation or diarrhea, bloating, blood in the stool, and other symptoms. They are caused by small pockets or pouches in the wall of the intestine called diverticula. Diverticular disease affects around 50% of people over the age of 50, and this risk increases with age. It is thought to be caused by a low fiber diet, smoking, obesity, and some medications like ibuprofen and Voltrol. Mild diverticular disease is managed by dietary advice and by ensuring bowel motions are soft. Diverticulitis, which happens when the diverticula get inflamed, is often successfully treated with antibiotics, but occasionally might need an emergency operation that involves removing part of the colon and creating a stoma. Next, let's consider inflammatory bowel disease, and firstly, Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is a chronic condition that can affect any part of your digestive system causing widespread inflammation. It is one of the two most common types of inflammatory bowel disease alongside ulcerative colitis. Inflammatory bowel diseases are estimated to affect around half a million people in the UK, although many people go undiagnosed, meaning that the true number could be higher. Crohn's disease can cause painful and debilitating symptoms that can interfere with your quality of life. The most common symptoms of Crohn's are severe abdominal pain, bloating and weight loss. While there is currently no cure for the condition, early diagnosis and fast treatment can make the condition more manageable and many people live normal, active lives. The main treatment options for Crohn's include specialist anti-inflammatory medication, nutrition therapy, further advanced medication, and in some cases, surgery to remove damaged parts of your digestive tract. 
Lifestyle modifications can play a crucial role in managing symptoms and include dietary adjustments, smoking cessation, and stress reduction. Next, ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis is a chronic condition which causes inflammation in the colon and rectum. It also causes small ulcers to develop along the lining of your colon, which bleed or become filled with pus. It's the second form of inflammatory bowel disease alongside Crohn's disease. Like Crohn's disease, it is a lifelong condition which has periods of remission and intense flare-ups. Symptoms of ulcerative colitis include frequency and urgency of bowel motions and loose motions with blood and mucus. Similar to Crohn's disease, these patients might have weight loss and feel generally tired. There are several treatment options for ulcerative colitis, including medication and surgery. The medications help to reduce inflammation, which allows for damaged tissue to heal. They are usually the first treatment option offered for mild or moderate ulcerative colitis, and can also be taken on a long-term basis. Steroids, on the other hand, are used as a short-term treatment for flare-ups. Meanwhile, to maintain lifelong remission, there are many other types of medication. There is also surgery, which is recommended if you have frequent flare-ups and ulcerative colitis is greatly impacting your quality of life. Surgery involves permanently removing your colon, which is known as a total colectomy. Surgery for both ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease may involve creating a temporary or permanent bag known as a stoma. If you have inflammatory bowel disease, your healthcare team will discuss the best treatment option for you depending on the severity of the condition and how it impacts you. And finally, bowel cancer. Bowel cancer is the third most common cancer in the UK and sadly, the second greatest cause of cancer-related deaths. Most cases of bowel cancer are sporadic, meaning there is no known predisposing factor, but smoking, eating processed food, obesity and aging are known risk factors. Bowel cancer symptoms vary depending on the tumour location, but the most common symptoms are a change in bowel habit, blood in the stool, bloating, weight loss, feeling tired, which can be a symptom of anemia, and occasionally abdominal pain. If someone is suspected of having cancer, they should have a special test to check for blood in the stool. They should then undergo a camera test looking for cancer or large polyps. This may then be followed by a special type of scan to find out whether the cancer has spread. In the UK, People over a certain age are offered bowel screening every two years. This is done with a simple poo test which detects blood in the stools. We would highly recommend that everyone eligible participates in this programme. Picking up bowel cancer at an early stage leads to easier and more effective treatment and a better prognosis. Following the diagnosis, their case will be discussed in a dedicated specialist meeting to decide on the best way of treating the cancer, which might include a combination of chemotherapy, radiotherapy or surgery. The majority of patients will live a near normal life following their operation, with regular follow-up thereafter to ensure as far as possible that their cancer doesn't come back, or if it does, it is detected early. If you think you might have IBS, or suspect that you are suffering from one of the other conditions mentioned, then you can book an appointment with myself or your nearest consultant at circlehealthgroup.co.uk. We can discuss what your diagnosis might be through a series of diagnostic tests. Regardless, we can work on a personalized treatment plan together to help you manage your symptoms and embrace life again. We hope you found this video useful and don't hesitate to leave any questions in the comments section below.